Hello. Hi, everybody. Holly Granger here with my two best friends in the world. Can you say your name? This is Francis, and then we got food for everyone to, to share with. We have food for everyone to share with. That's Francis. What? Hi, I'm Ellie. And how old are you? Five and a half. Fancy, how old are you? She's three. And we are so excited. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We are so excited to be sharing some of our favorite things to do in the kitchen. Yeah, and that's to try new food. Yeah. And the CDs. Yes. I like pots and like yum, yum, yum. That's yeah. right. So we are, I want to show you an activity that I did with Ellie's class today at school. And that is how to make rainbow vegetable and rainbow fruit skewers. And this is a really fun way to help introduce new fruits and vegetables to your children. So we made the skewers and then we did a taste test. So I want to show what we used at school today and then offer some variations as well. You want to sit way down? Can't see you. Okay. Yeah, mom, mommy's sitting down to stay low for today. All right. So we started off today. The colors of the rainbow are Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then of course, we can't forget the white cloud. So, both of the girls have skewers. I just use these, I think they're about 10 inch skewers. Here you go. And we skewered our fruits and vegetables. So, let's start, girls. And we're going to first skewer a red bell pepper. No, and that's Francis's skewer. Well, you're going to do both vegetables and fruits. No, 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 no. I'm going to put it over there with the juice on it. Okay, we'll get the juice on the leopard. Okay, here's your red. Now, can you skewer an orange? Ellie, here's your red. So these are red bell peppers. No, I have napkin. Good, good. You can use the napkin. And so what I did with the children in the class is I, I had a whole bell pepper. This is the one we cut in half. And I passed it around. I let them feel it. And then we kind of did the big reveal with all the different fruits and vegetables and sliced it in half to see what it looked like inside. So they were excited. With this one, I was asking them, do you think it feels heavy? And we talked about the color and about how much nutrition that you can get, especially from fruits and vegetables that are packed with color, like red. So something like this has tons of vitamin C. All right, let's go. Has tons of vitamin C. All right, careful. With the, we're not peeling that yet. You can peel this big one. Peel the big one. And of course, fiber. We'll do it in a minute. So that was something fun with the red bell pepper. And I also offered to them ranch dressing, just because when I've done these taste tests with children before, whether you use guacamole or ranch or hummus, sometimes they're a little bit apprehensive to try a vegetable without having some type of dipper. So if you can offer a dip, then I would definitely suggest doing it. Yeah. All right. So we have our reds on. All right, Francis. Good job. Now, next we're going to do butternut squash. So, Ellie, here's your orange. Butternut. Ellie was not a fan of butternut squash today. Francis, can you put this on? Can we do it for you? Okay. All right, so do that one. So it was fun with the butternut squash today. Since we had just felt the bell pepper, put it right here. Yep, push it down. Since we had just done the bell pepper that was nice and light and hollow on the inside, to pass around the butternut squash and then ask them about how it was dense, ask them about the color, since they were able to see the orange color and the cubes. And with those, I just um, cooked them just a little bit to soften because I didn't want them eating raw butternut squash. And then we did the big reveal and cut it in half. And so they, some were really grossed out by the seeds. Some remembered that it was a lot like a pumpkin at Halloween that they carved. So we talked about the inside of that and of course all the nutrition. Um, and Ellie, what did you think of the butternut squash? What does it smell like? I was the only one who sm smelled it was good. You think it smells good? Francis, how did this smell to it you? It smells like cantaloupe. So it's just, Ellie thought it smelled like cantaloupe. So yes. All right, so then after we did red, yellow, orange. It smells like pumpkin. That's right, it does smell like pumpkin. Here's a squash. We just did yellow summer squash. Did I like that? Oh, yeah, and just we're just making our skewers. Did I like it? Um, yeah, I think so with the ranch. And so the yellow. No, I didn't. You didn't? I didn't try it with the ranch. Oh, okay, didn't like it. Um, but with the yellow summer squash, no, we talked I about the different types did. of squash between a winter I squash. Actually, yeah, you liked it? Between a winter squash and something like a summer I squash. Like, it too. like the one I just threw on the floor. Um, you like it too? You want to try it? You want to try this one? No, we're just going to make them? All right, so we have our yellow squash. The next thing I had for green were sugar snap peas. Now, this was a hit, the sugar snap peas, with a lot of the children. I told them, asked them to break it in half, and they liked how crispy it was, and then we opened it up, and they got to see all of the little 
pink that and little things inside. I didn't inside. really like it. You didn't like that one? This was the one that a lot of people like. Drew ate a ton of these. Mommy, I'm not, I'm not, I want to play with me. Okay, Mommy, so let's put that one I, on. I like cracking the shell. Yeah, we liked cracking the shell, and a lot of the kiddos didn't necessarily love the outside, but they loved eating what was inside. So that was something that was, was kind of Mommy, fun. Woo, that's beautiful. That's a vegetable skewer. And then the last one, or no, let's see, the next to last, Francis got me ahead of the game, was um, was a purple carrot. And so I showed them what Francis has here, a rainbow carrot, and asked what color are carrots normally. And of course they all said yellow. And then I showed them these purple carrots. So if you no, followed me, wait, not, if you followed me along no, for a yellow, while, orange. orange. Thank you, Ellie. Okay, mommy's talking too fast to get get it right. My helper keeping me straight. So we talked about how carrots are normally orange, not yellow. And some of you that have followed my lunch boxes know that I loved using these purple carrots, these rainbow carrots in the girls' lunch boxes. But I brought a whole one. This is one Francis has been peeling here and showed, Mom, can I peel it? Yeah, showed how it's nice and purple. And then I sliced it open so that they could see the inside, which is orange on the inside. So that yellow. was yellow orange. Yeah, sometimes it's orange, sometimes it's yellow. It kind of depends on how long your carrot's been sitting out. Um, but it, it's like a different color, kind of orangish yellow on the inside. So that was a fun addition to our skewer and, and kind of blew their minds just by the fact that just because something is one color doesn't mean it can't be another. So we talked about purple cauliflower and purple potatoes. And I actually had even thought about using um, purple potatoes or purple cauliflower, but I thought these rainbow carrots were so much fun. But if you're doing it with your children, that might be something that's fun to do, to actually get some fruits or vegetables that you think are normally one color traditionally, but that also come in another color. For instance, it's making me a barbell. And then finally, okay, Ellie, you want to show how you're peeling? So when you peel off that outside, it's a nice purple color inside. And then finally, the last one that was a big hit with Ellie, which was a win for me, you can put this one on, was... Okay, was jicama. Okay, go get one. All right, come right back. Was jicama. So I brought this jicama and asked them what, if they knew what it was. No one knew what it was. Everyone thought it was a potato. And I told them actually they were a little bit right because jicama is um, known as a Mexican potato. So then we passed that around and they could feel how dense it was and talked about how it doesn't have a lot of flavor. You didn't touch your snow? Oh, the, oh, the other table passed it around. Ellie's table must have missed it. Uh, but we, one table in the classroom passed it around, and they were able to taste and try how crunchy it is. And this was one of Ellie's, okay, come over. This was one of Ellie's favorite ones. So this is what made up our little rainbow vegetable skewer. Is that Francis's? This was Francis's. So we had a red bell pepper, butternut squash, yellow summer squash, green sugar snap peas, purple rainbow carrots, and our cloud with some jicama. Okay, all right, so Francis is cutting with the um, spreader, so I think we're okay. I'm going to get a knife. Okay, so I want to show you quickly before I totally lose the attention of my children, which I probably already have, but that's okay, um, what we did for fruit. So something that I thought would be kind of fun for the red was to use a blood orange. And so... Inside with the seeds. Okay, you can use that. We're using the cheese spreaders and nuts. So the blood orange on the outside, and I brought one in color, co um, cut into it. The blood orange on the outside is just a traditional orange. And then when you cut into it, it a lot of them can be even darker than this, but it's it's red. And so some of the kids, just whichever maybe, some of the children um, weren't so sure by the color and just by the and just by the name blood. So okay. And especially, it was pretty fun to squeeze it. And so when the juice comes out, the juice is really red. The juice is really red. So that was kind of cool, especially for some of the guys. You can shuck the carrot. All right, here, shuck the carrot. Let's peel the carrot. So the blood oranges were one that we added for our red. Again, this was, especially with the fruits, we talked about how the outside may be one color, but the inside is something different. And then for our orange... I brought out a mango and kind of the same idea here we talked about how mango on the outside can be green it can be kind of red some of them have some orange in it 
And then I told them about how the inside of a mango is one large seed. So I cut the mango for them. It's kind of hard to cut sitting down. Um, there we go. Cut the mango for them and talked about how this inside is a seed. And then we made a porcupine. Watch your fingers with this knife. Thank you. We made a porcupine. And so I was telling all the children how they can t tell their parents to go home and make a porcupine with their mango. And then you just, you score it and turn it inside out. And this one is actually a little bit runnier. This isn't the best porcupine I've ever done, is it? I no. don't understand That's okay. That. You can make it with that one. Yeah, I can make it with the other. Now but I'm also you gotta cut the seed. Yeah, so this, sometimes your mangoes are a little bit um, more fibrous yucky. than others. Not yucky. I love mango. We had a few in the class that pretty much ate an entire mango during the time that I was um, sharing everything and talking. Yes, so where'd my fruit go? Okay, so now we have a blood orange, a mango, a piece of squash, but at least she's in the right color pattern. All right, here's pineapple. So it's fun. I, I went ahead and brought a big pineapple so they could see the outside, and all the kids knew what a pineapple was. But it was fun for them to be able to hold and feel that big pineapple. And, of course, that was a favorite across the board. Thank you. Across the board as well. Um, I think it was one of those that they felt a little bit more comfortable with. Yeah, you can use that one if you want to. But they felt a little bit more comfortable with, so that was one that they ended up loving. You want some more? All right, so after we have our red, orange, yellow. Okay, bananas are last. There's a kiwi. We did kiwi. All right, Winston's getting a feast down here below us. If you could see under the table, our dog is eating everything that we're dropping on the floor. So we did kiwi next and talked about the fun green color. And I let them pass around the kiwi and feel it and see how it's nice and fuzzy. And then okay, I, needed that butter knife. I cut it open. Let's be real careful with that knife. Girl. No, I, I need that one. Can I have this one? Here we go. Um, none of these have any kind of edge on them. We're all safe. And so I showed them how it was green, and then we passed it back around again. So a lot of the kids um, really ended up liking kiwi. Quite a few had not tasted it before. Uh, this one Mommy. loves kiwi. This Mommy. one can go back and forth. Mommy. And so kiwi was another fun one that was green that worked really well into the fruit. Now, of course, you can always Mommy, blow Mommy, their minds. Just, yeah, you can eat it. Mommy, and do rush. something like an avocado and talk about whether or not an avocado is a fruit or a vegetable since technically – it's fruit, but a lot of people think it's a vegetable, so that might be a fun one for green um, if you're trying to think of other options as well. And then went with a little bit more traditional since some of the children's mind were a bit blown by some of these fruits and vegetables and just went with green grapes Mommy, for, Mommy, for, Mommy, for Mommy, green, Mommy, green grapes for Mommy, our purple. Mommy, Mommy, I have no idea. Anyone know what she Mommy, wants? Mommy, oh, the kiwi. Kiwi, okay. Uh, green grapes for the end, and bananas for our white. I actually looked for dragon fruit because I thought that would be really fun as a white for our cloud, but didn't have any luck finding any at the couple stores I went to. I'm not sure if it's out of season. But so here we go. Here's the whoopsies. Here's our fruit rainbow skewer that the girls helped me Mommy. make. And this is what the children were able to try today. So Mommy. our blood orange, just a minute, our blood orange, our mango, our lemon, our kiwi, our purple grape, and banana. So that is all, but I hope if you like this, you'll keep tuning in. We love playing with food over here, and as you can see, you can show them. As you can see, we like to make quite a bit of a mess, so there'll be a little bit of cleanup, but that's no problem. And certainly don't forget to check in um, on hollygranger.com and sign up for my newsletter. I'm gonna be starting in April, sending out a monthly to bi-monthly newsletter with fun tips and recipes and fun things that you can do with your kids in the kitchen. So for you, those of you guys watching it live, thanks for sticking with us through a little bit of the chaos. And for those of the, you that are watching this on a replay, I hope you have a great time watching this. And please, if you have any questions or thoughts or have done something like this with your kids, just to help introduce them to new fruits and vegetables, leave me a comment because I always love to hear what you're doing. And we're always looking for new activities in our household. So I hope everybody has a wonderful St. Patrick's Day and a safe weekend, and we'll be checking back in next week to make something else really fun. Do you have anything else you want to say? Leprechaun. Yes, the leprechaun came to our house. Gracie, do you want to say? The leprechaun made a mess in my big room and in the comments and in my bed.
the leprechaun made a mess in our house. Make sure to check out my Instagram Wait. stories today if you're watching it, this live, it, and you'll find out more what I'm talking about. It even made a mess in the bathroom, and it made a fort. It made a fort, and it took everything off the wall in the bathroom, and it put green in the potty. So, silly leprechaun. Really? And my little yeah. Francis flushed the green away, so we are nice and safe. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this and have a great weekend. See you soon. No. <laughs> Francis. You're so silly.